it's Ebony and I wanted to quickly show you all what I did to kind of bump my bob to give it this bump um, I did a, a cheap roller set and I call it a cheap roller set because when I rolled my hair it was actually dry so I didn't have to sit under, under the dryer or anything like that um, what I did is I put this foaming wrap lotion on my hair uh, this is the first time I've tried this product so I didn't know how it worked, but I just wanted to try it. It's the Cream of Nature Argan Oil from Morocco Foaming Wrap Lotion. It says long lasting hold, moisturizes and imparts shine. So I squirted it out like this, comes out like a foam. I kind of rub my hands together and I um, put it down the length of my hair. And then I took the roller, rolled it up, clipped it, clipped it, and I went to sleep like that. So my hair was kind of damp, not too damp, but because I put the foam on there, it kind of dampened my hair. And then I slept with the rollers in, so it let my hair um, dry overnight. And then I just took the rollers down for you guys, and this is what it looks like. And I think it looks okay. <laughs> I think it looks okay. Um... It's definitely quicker than doing a roller set when your hair is wet and then sitting under the dryer for a few hours. Um, it gave me the same effect that I wanted. Um, what I can say is by doing this cheap roller set, I'm pretty sure this um, curl pattern, I know it's not really a curl, it's like a, a bend, but I don't know what to call it. Well, this is not going to last as long as if I were to do it with my hair being wet and then sitting under the dryer. It's not going to last as long. like. Probably by the end of the day, this will have fallen to a more straight look, but that's fine with me. Um, this cheap roller set is not something I would do every night because it took me, it took me probably like 20, 25 minutes to do, which is not too bad. But in the evenings when you have children and homework and laundry and and dinner and all those things, I don't have time to sit in the bathroom and be rolling my hair. So um, I'm not big on wraps, but I could tonight uh, wrap my hair and then tie it up and I'm pretty sure it'll still have this fullness that it has um, because of the rollers I put in um, and I don't know if you guys can see because I tried to cover it up but right there on my forehead I burned myself because um, the night that I actually cut my hair I decided I wanted to go ahead and bump it under but I used a curling iron um, I showed you guys those velcro rollers well those things are just too big for me to try to sleep in so I tried to bump my hair under with the curling iron and I burnt my forehead so I probably will stay away from curling irons because um, I don't use them often but this is the second time in the past two years that I've used a curling iron and I burnt my forehead the first time it was so huge my the skin peeled off I had this big white mark on my forehead um, I didn't have a bang at the time, so I had a difficult time trying to camouflage the thing, and it did go away, but this is like the second time I've done it, so I was a very, 
very mad because I was like, man, I'm going to have this white mark on my forehead and then I'm going to have to go to work and try to explain to everybody what happened. Oh, girl, what happened to your head? Um, I burnt it with a curling iron. You know, I didn't want to have to go through all that. So anyway, that's that. So that is the results of my um, cheat roll set, as I want to call it. And the thing about cutting my hair that I noticed is my hair seems a lot fuller, a lot healthier than it was before I cut it, which is understandable because I cut off a lot of those thin ends and a lot of the, um, the damage and things like that. So my hair looks a lot fuller and a lot healthier and I actually like it so much more right now than when it was longer. The only thing that I'm worried about as far as the style and using the rollers and doing this is I don't want to age myself. And when I say that I'm 29, I'll be 30 this year. I don't want to look like I'm 45 or almost 50. I don't want to add 10, 15 years to my age because of the way I'm wearing my hair. And right now, I kind of feel a little bit aged. Um, I don't know if I look that way, but I do. I feel a lot older than what I am. So, I don't want to age myself and wear styles that, you know, that are known for older women. And no offense to anyone. I'm not trying to offend anybody, but for me personally, certain styles, if you wear them, you can look a lot older than what you are, and that's the only thing I'm worried about with this style. But anyway, that's it, so I will talk to you guys again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.